These are shelf-stable pantry boxes. Boxes filled with items for families arriving in Massachusetts from Afghanistan collected and packed by the Salvation Army. Just the things that, that people, when they get off the plane at midnight and they're arriving in a new home, and I'm sure you know, the unimaginable of what they went through the last few weeks, just things that can help them not have to worry about what they need for the first couple days. The first Afghan family arrived Friday, another last night. They spoke through an interpreter. This past couple of months was very sad, very scary. Chris Farrand of the Salvation Army says they are working with several other organizations to welcome the Afghan refugees. The number of refugees they have heard are coming in has gone up. So information sometimes fluctuates. Like we've heard 700, 900, now up to 1,100. But at the end of the day, just being prepared to have as much that we can do to help uh, immediately. They have gathered everything from backpacks and bedding to food and have done so with cultural sensitivity. The request was made that you know most of these will also be halal friendly. This is just phase one of the response. The plan is to continue to provide support to any of the refugees who need it in the months, even years ahead. You can't give enough. Is, is how I think. Uh, you want to do more and you're happy for the part that you do get to do. If you want to donate to these families through the Salvation Army, you can. All you have to do is write Afghan refugees in the notes section of your donation online, on your check, or say so over the phone. In Canton, Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.